Okay, so this is the name of the projector. I'll give you three seconds to get a screenshot. It's the exact same projector Ryan Cook has, and he said it's his most asked question. He said it's just the cheapest projector he could get off Amazon. All right, so here it is. I think it's in my Amazon store. This is the projector. So what I'm gonna do for this salmon, what I'm gonna carve tomorrow, but it's gonna be same day video. I went to the dollar store, bought a couple of sheets of this cardboard paper stuff, like what do they call it? What's that grass doing here? What do they call it? Hockey board, hockey side paper. So then I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna tape it to this window when it's dark. And then I'm gonna put, cause this projector is Wi-Fi. I'm gonna do it to my phone, project it when this is up there and then trace it out and then cut it out so I got a nice big huge shape of a salmon. I'm going to do two because we'll decide which salmon looks better on the log. So you follow me? Okay so this is not going to be that clear because I got to use my cell phone to do the Wi-Fi on this um, projector so this is with my older phone. So you can see I got it on a tripod. You don't do not need a tripod. And there's the fish on the window. So now I'm going to turn the lights off. It's very simple to do. If you want the real shape, this is going to be the first one. See, there's my shadow. Hello. So, what you want to do is you just want to mark. Sorry, it's, this is hard for me to do while filming. I'm just showing you guys. Mark. The very best you can copy this fish. So see that line? And we'll do another one here. I'm going to do a few. So, and then I'll have a picture of this too, so I can look at the picture for reference. For like the scales, the gills and stuff. So we got a fin coming off here. Got to keep your fingers out of the way, your hand out of the way. Okay, and that comes up in here. We'll just go like this so we know what's a fin. And so there's another fin here. So you guys can see how that works anyways. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all drawn in, then I'm going to cut on the outside. So then tomorrow I can tack this right onto the wood. I can get spray paint if I want and just, you know, this won't be spray paint. Just the outside of it will be spray paint. But there's, um, there's an idea for you how to do the projector. Or you could be really stupid like me and try and do one like this. <laughs> yep. Okay, so there you go. There's your two fish. So which one do you think uh, they're going to choose? Number one or number two? So when I'm blocking out these fish, this is just like I talked about in the videos before. You stay true to your lines. This is going to be the where the wave is. I'm going to make it like wave. This will be kind of cascading wave. The fish will be here, and then I'll have it kind of jumping out. So, you know, when you go in, make sure you are straight. And you stay the same kind of angle, like the commitment that you need to be. You can't halter or go like this or go like that. You need to commit the whole way to stay profile. Now, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. <laughs> So there's a perfect example. I watch YouTube videos from my buddy Ryan Cook and um, other carvers that I learned too. So there's lots of different channels out there, everybody. Another beautiful day in Ladner, British Columbia, Canada. So as I was talking with just Carver Rob overnight, this face has been challenging for me. And there's always been something that I haven't really that's been throwing me off and I know exactly what it is Rob pointed out and I fully agreed with him it's this 
this needs to be pushed back I need to carve all this away get these eyebrows to pop because the temples the temples need to be thinned out they're too wide that's what it is see so and then I'll have to cut these down too because we don't want them because I'll I don't want them to look like Elvis hair so that's what's gonna happen take this back then cut this hair down and uh, carry on but I'm not gonna film doing that and then uh, we're gonna work on the salmon on the other side okay so plans might change uh, Doug the owner of this house here is not home right now but he's on his way home I spoke to his beautiful wife because I wanted to clarify that I wanted to take this back but they she said she likes it the way it is so if they like it the way it is you got to remember when you're doing an on-site carving just like any job at somebody else's house you're not the boss they're the boss so like I don't hate it I, I like it I like it the way it is but it's it's not it's not my normal wood spirit that's the only thing that's it's different to me and those like eyelids and stuff I still need to do lots of cleanup on there still far from done this piece far from done so see you guys are gonna have a hard time seeing this side of the view there's a big salmon see they're thinking about building a deck here let me turn this piece of crap compressor off so they're thinking about building a deck here because it's where they get all their Sun and he would like to see something on the back of it so there's the salmon so I'm gonna wait till Doug shows up I'm not now on this whole job it's a pleasure to be here okay so I'm not in any panic I don't think like um, you know um, what's the there's such nice people they make me sandwiches want to give me coffee and stuff like that very catering so it's not like time is money when I'm here I'm taking my time and I'm enjoying it you know that's the bottom line because lots of people drive down this little alley here and I want to do the best job I could possibly do for them you know maybe if there are dicks I would hurry up and get it done and get the hell out of here get paid but that's not the case so I'm gonna be here for a good lot longer too I may not film every day but I just like I just showed you guys I watched that Ryan Cook video and I'll have to cut true to the lines on the salmon so another thing I want to say is when I do a outside carving I always try and think of um, let me explain this so you guys understand so water won't sit in pockets so you see here there's no pockets there's no pockets for water to sit in I could have done these the other way right but so this way the water just drips down and there's no pockets for the water because water will eventually rot the piece right so still tons more work to do on this tons so hold on a second so meaning by that when I cut the waves in here or whatever I do this way um, I don't want there to be pockets for the water to sit in like here so I'll have to try to figure that out the best I can maybe I'll have to do them up like the other ones because up close you'll see that they're up under but far away it will still look like waves. Carry on. Okay, so this is my steel 140 battery saw, 140C. I'm going to uh, do like Ryan did, and I'm going to got the salmon up there. I'm going to cut true to the line, and the owners like the forehead the way it is, so I don't want to switch it up anything anytime soon. Like I said, they're the boss. And I'm good at wrecking things, so if I do take that forehead, I could also fuck it up too, so we'll see. It kind of bugs me, but it kind of doesn't. So anyways, I'm going to use this one to cut, like Ryan says, true to the lines, because this chain is thinner, right? It makes a nice, precise cut. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's uh, slowly happening. Um, you know... God damn compressor, shut up. So uh, still a lot more uh, wood to cut out here. But I just wanted to say sometimes, you know, like sometimes you don't have enough money to buy a scaffold, so you have to use pallets. 
like uh they're yeah so this is the canadian style of scaffolding right here pellets just kidding steve or anybody that watches this but it is good to have a scaffolding it's a lot safer and it does make the job go quicker so having to move around these pellets like this but you see i kind of got them like a artistic spiral here anyways carry on now to cut the top out So I don't know how well you guys can see on camera what's going on there. But anyways, I'm doing the background first, then I'll shape the salmon. I don't know if I should have shaped the salmon first. You know, you gotta make it flow. So it's gonna be sucked in in the middle and then, but uh, anyways, what could be any better? Grilled cheese, ketchup and sawdust, pickles and coffee. The owner's name of the house, well husband and wife, his name is Doug and there's a Fraser Rivers right over there so I call him Doug, Doug, Doug by the river. Hey Doug by the river, I think you're probably the best grilled cheese maker there is buddy. Fantastic job. That's good coffee I made this morning. Now I'm gonna get a suntan if I can keep this sawdust off of me. But uh, you see here, I'm kind of getting carried away. I don't, like I said, it's super dark on the camera. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I think it looks like a salmon. The, 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 uh, the challenge is real people. The struggle is real for sure. Cause you guys know, most of my subscribers know that I'm not a realism carver and well, you carve a salmon. Salmon's supposed to look like a salmon. And I told uh, Doug down by the river, I said, I'm not guaranteeing it's going to look like a salmon, but we'll try and make it look like a fish. And I didn't tell Doug this, but even if it doesn't look like a fish, we'll paint it silver. Then it will look like a, a fish. So carry on. I'm not filming too much uh, carving because I'm just getting into the zone and just doing my thing. But this is what I'm using for these... Uh, there's my 5.5i fuel injected saw, but my 201 arborist saw. I think this is a 16 inch cannon bar on here, quarter tip. And 
My little, there goes the goddamn compressor. This has been a lot of carving. Ah, uh, a lot of carving. Don't know if you guys can see. Anyways, break time. And then, uh, I think you're kind of getting tired. Because I'm too fat. But anyways, break time. And then I'll uh, go cut in below the tail. Make it. See how I'm just doing my kind of stuff? Don't care. Shut up! I want to take a quick second and uh, explain something to the very beginning chainsaw carvers. Okay, so you see like a mark like this. I don't know how well you can see it. There's your chainsaw marks. So when you're doing a carve into this scale, you don't want to, well, you could spend days and days and days sanding it. So I'm going to get my chainsaw and just scrape this up and just show you guys how uh, I do it. I think lots of chainsaw carvers do it too. So see like little dents like this. Okay. Just my little battery saw. Problem seeing the screen, but you can see here how it's butchy. Does it look like a salmon? It sure does. Doug's wife's home. Okay, once again, I don't know how well you guys can see in the camera, but this is pretty good for me for one day's carving, right? So, um, just carve Rob. For anybody that doesn't know Just Carve Rob, he's got a YouTube channel. He's one of my best uh, online friends. I have been permission cut this forehead back to get rid of all this wood and I'm doing it yep that's a big chunk of wood right there all this wood I'm gonna get these eyebrows to pop this was just something that I tried right and uh, that's probably why I've been fighting with the um, piece the whole time and I got to take these temples just carve Rob says the temples need to come in just carve Rob you sneaky little bugger so that's gonna be it for today for me, that's a lot of carving for one day. It's, uh, I think I got here at 9.30. It's like three o'clock now, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, I don't know, like six hours. I'm not the fastest, I'll admit it. But I did cut, this whole thing is carved all the way around. Okay. Now just carved Rob is gonna message me tonight and he's gonna ask me, did I cut that forehead back? And I'm not going to tell him, I'm just going to say, inquiring minds want to know. So there you go. It's just roughed out. I got to take it back some more. I got to cut this hair back. Much more happier. Much more happier. Forehead's a little bit big. It's okay. I can push it back. I can push this forehead back all this way. Like it's straight right now. I can go like this, push it back on an angle. I can cut all this hair away. It's just, you know, just keep going. Carve deeper. See you on the next one. Now what's sticking off farthest from the face? Just carve up, huh? Eh? Huh? Who's complaining? I'm not complaining. Too nice of a day to complain. But you see up top there towards the right? 
there's this that cut in there that doesn't seem like it makes sense those uh, burn marks in this piece too hold on a second these burn marks are just so I can see what's going on in there but you see that piece up there well, here let me show you this piece I'll fix that tomorrow and this is a 2d fish it's not a 3d let's see here because there's no back side of the fish so anyways I think it looks like a seven